Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with another video and as you guys can see from all the packages that I have here, today I'm going to be doing a sticker slash stationery haul for you guys. I do one of these every single month so that is the reason why I have so many packages. I like to wait until I have a pretty good amount of packages to make this video just so that I can show you guys everything that I'll be using in the next couple of weeks in my planners. I think I am going to be doing a planner stack video just talking about the planners that I'll be using for the new year so let me know if that is something that you'd be interested in seeing. But without any further ado let's go ahead and get started because I do have quite a few things to show you guys. First package that I have here is from Sadie Stickers. I purchased I believe these items from her Black Friday sale. I ended up purchasing her monthly kit, the notes page kit for the Erin Condren Life Planner. And then I also got I think, a sticker kit grab bag and a foiled oops grab bag. So let's go ahead and get started with the stickers that I'll be using in my monthly view of my Erin Condren. I actually, I'm not 100% sure if I'll be using my Erin Condren for the new year, which I know a big shocker to probably everybody. But I found something else which I actually will be unboxing in the next video. So make sure you stay tuned for that. As you guys can see, these are really cute stickers. What I like about Sadie's stickers is that she doesn't necessarily stick to the Erin Condren colors. As you guys know, January is actually like this blue color and all she has here is pinks, which is really nice. Um, I also really like that for the new year, she is transitioning to having her scripts made, I think, by Letters to Apollo, which is really cute, I think. Also, the foil of this January kit is not like a really bright gold. I want to say it's like a matte gold if that is even a thing. So um, I ended up getting the monthly view kit. This is the new sheet that comes in the monthly kits now, which I think it's really cute. You now have some icons to put in there. And these are all gold foil. So let me put this back in there. And then I also got the same colorway in the notes pages kit, which I tend to use. I haven't done a video on camera in like two months but I still am using those in my planner. Aside from that, like I mentioned, I went ahead and purchased the sticker kit grab bag and these were very discounted so this is a perfect I think colorway for April. I think I actually used one of these washies from my budget kits. I think September maybe. So this is how the sticker kit looks. The colors are very pastel and pretty. Perfect for an April spread. So it looks, I think this is a full kit and even comes with some foiled bow headers and this little Black Friday freebie, which is an overlay. Aside from this, I also went ahead and grabbed an Oopsie foil wrap bag. And this one, I'm going to quickly just show you guys the sheets that I got. I actually was super bummed that I missed the sort of airplanes. $2 Tuesday that she had and I'm glad that some of those were actually included in this oopsie grab bag. Um, we have a sheet from I believe a November monthly kit. We have some overlays which I think these would be perfect for my Christmas spreads. We have some of these. All these are oopsie by the way. We have some headers, some date covers, some cute little bows, decorative bows. These are actually one that I really wanted. I think I have all of them and all three regular foils, but this is hollow foil, which is really, really nice. Then we have some of that traveling full box overlays. One of these. Oh, this is so cute. One more with the little plane and the little destination. And one of these would just say washi and stickers and planners. Oh my. So that is what I got in my oopsie bag and that's all that I have from Sadie stickers to show. Next up is sticker kits from Two Little Bees. I actually have two orders. One of them just came in the mail today. So perfect timing. And the other ones are actually sticker kits that I'll be using in the very beginning of January. The first sticker kit that I have here is one that I'll be using for the week of New Year's. This is such a pretty kit. I feel like Two Little Bees has the cutest kits. She always does an amazing job. We have some of these extra boxes and labels. The full box page which has hollow foil. I really like this one which says page 1 of 365. And although it is kind of a New Year's kit, it's also very just girly and pretty. And I really like that about it. 
So this is the full box page. It's decorative with a bunch of flags and some date covers page. I believe I got the mini kit from her. Bunch of labels, sidebar items, and checklists. And this is how the bottom washi and headers look. Super cute. That is the first kit that I got from Two Little Bees. And then the second one I got is one that I'll be using in January, hopefully for the week. Um, I think me and my family plan on going to Big Bear, which is up in the mountains where it snows. Um, sometime whenever all of my family is here, so hopefully we're, we're able to do that. I can definitely use that kit for them. If not, I would just like to use this kit, even if we don't go. So this is the journaling card that came with my kit, which I can definitely put in my ASIC, I think. I just have to trim it down. This is the kit. I'm not 100% sure of the name, but as you guys can see, it has a bunch of buffalo plaid patterns. I actually have the perfect headers to go with this kit. It has a cute little puppy. It just says, baby, it's cold outside. And even this sweater pattern, I absolutely love. I think it'd be perfect for just like a weekend in a cabin at Big Bear. Then we have all of the deco pieces in here. I think this might be the newer format because this is different than the other one but I just absolutely love the buffalo plaid and all of that in there. We have date covers, a bunch of even more little cute clipboards. These stickers aren't foiled by the way. Some headers and then this is the bottom washi and a couple of more labels which are always nice. And that is the second kit that I got from Two Little Bees. That was the first order that I made. I'm not sure if I made that on Black Friday. I want to say I did or I'm not 100% sure but I definitely do think I got a there was a coupon code. Two Little Bees tends to have a ton of coupon codes pretty much every time she has any new releases and this is the last one that I just recently purchased and look at this cute little ornament looking snowflake. I love it. What I ended up purchasing which I actually really like this journaling card write your story. I think this is the one that she misspelled and just missed an R, but I think I can definitely still use it in one of my planners. It's very sparkly because of the little ornament, which I think all of my tables are going to be sparkly now, but these, if you guys don't know, are her little bee kit format, which is a smaller version of her mini kits. As you guys can see, the boxes, I believe, can fit still the width of an Erin Condren, but it's a little bit shorter, which I think it's really nice, especially for smaller planners like my A6. So this is, I believe I bought like three kits this time around. And look at this beautiful kit. It's foiled, as you guys can see. And it's just really cute. It gives me very cute winter vibes. I love that. I believe there's four pages to the kit, so this is the first one. Full boxes, some headers, more of the square boxes, and some habit trackers, deco, deco, and some flags there. Really cute. That's the first kit. Next up is this one, which oh, I think this is so stinking cute. I feel like I could either use this during the winter time when e or even April. I think those would look really nice. As you guys can see, it has that um, hollow foil. This is the second page. I think this would actually work really good in the print pression weeks just because of this bottom washi, but um, I won't be using that in there. I can still make it work though, definitely. That's the second kit that I have. And then the last one that I have is this one, which I definitely wanted to get. I love peppermint mocha. Um, and I actually have a Keurig that looks just like this. It's actually red like that. And I thought, I don't know, I thought it'd be cute, especially to use before peppermint mocha season was up. I don't know, I just really like it. I know this is more of like a Christmassy kit, but I'll still probably use it any, any time in January or anything like that for probably my A6. So this is the third page, the fourth page, super cute with the gingerbread men. And then this is add-on sheet that she's starting to do. So this is has the blush background with gold foil, which I believe this goes hand in hand with this. It's almost the same pink. I want to say it does. And there's even one, I believe she had one, or maybe this one's, no, I think she had another one for this kit. And I know she definitely had like a purpley one for this kit, but I only ended up picking up the pink one because I have a bunch of pink stickers that could definitely work with this setup. So that is all that I got from Two Little Bees. I am super excited to use all of this in my planner um, in the next couple of weeks.
Next up, I have a kit from Scribble Prints Co. I decided to go ahead and purchase something from Scribble Prints Co. because this kit just definitely screamed my name. I think this kit was called Planner Babe or Planner Girl, something like that. But look at how cute the presentation for the end of the year. As you guys can see, I just wrote a little card just saying thank you for being a scribbler and for purchasing from Scribble Prints Co. And I believe everybody ended up getting some of these, which are just silver foiled stickers. We have some scripts here, which are really nice. Um, some full box overlays and another one that just has planner friends make the best friends. And then just different ones like Scribble Prints Co. Happy Mail, Wiggle It Wednesday, and new releases. I thought that was really thoughtful. Then aside from that, I got this freebie from Emily. I actually really love this. It has a combination of both silver and gold foil, which I don't even know how y'all do it, but it's amazing. I love this. Definitely will be putting it with the rest of my stickers to use in the near future. Um, these were the glitter header add-on for this kit as well as I ended up getting the labels too because I tend to use these for the videos that I'll be posting for the week and I seem to always want more. So I ended up getting the mini kit. That's typically what I use mostly from any sticker shop. I never end up using the full kit. I just end up getting the mini kit. This is another little sampler with the munchkins. Look how beautiful these boxes are. I specifically love the cute little pen from SBC in collaboration with Pen Gems. I love the pink so I could either use this in February or even in May. I think it would look really nice then. So that is the first page. Then you have the headers, half boxes, fancy labels there, a lot of items for the sidebar. I love these colors. They're so cute. Some deco weekend banner, um, movie marquee, some flags, and a little bow clip. You have an extra full box, some day covers, and your bottom washi. And that is the kit that I purchased from SPC. Super, super cute. I'm excited to see when I'll be using that kit. Next up, what I'm going to be showing you guys is stuff from the Lux collab that I've been hoarding for almost a month now. Um, as you guys know, there were a couple of different shops that collab to make Lux items, which essentially are Louis Vuitton inspired with a lot of pink. I think. Annie Plans Printables is the one who started this. I'm not 100% sure, but um, this is actually something from Exo Carolyn. If you guys don't know, Exo Carolyn actually sells, I think, planner charms. And this is my very first order from her. I'm so excited to open this up because this means that I can finally put it in my A6. One thing that I want to show you guys is this little notepad that has that LV inspired print. Um, I believe if you were one of the first 50 orders, then you were, you would go ahead and get this. So I ended up getting this, and this is going to look good in my setup, which I will be filming a setup of my A6 planner. And this is what I ended up getting from Exo Carolyn, which look at this presentation. Super, super cute. I'm going to open it here. So I ended up getting one of these charms, which... This. I need to actually watch like either her videos or something to see how to assemble this but tell me this is not the cutest charm you've ever seen I don't even know how to explain this but look at how beautiful this is love 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 this it's gonna look great in my setup next up going off of that collab I ended up getting stuff from Fox and Pip and I recently got something from Pigtails and Pockets and Sparkly Paper Co. okay let's start with I want to start with Fox and Pip. I think I'm going to start with my newest Fox and Pip order, which shipped extremely fast. And it was something that I think came out like last week. I'm just going to go ahead and start with this so that I, I can go ahead and show you guys the luxe items that I got as well. First off, I got one of her little acrylic. I think this is like holographic rulers. Tell me this is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. I love this so stinking much and I will be putting it next to all of my um, pens and my little pen cup. And then I went ahead and got some charms as well. I guess I'm really into charms. I've just been wanting to try different things. As you guys know, I love to make my planner pretty and decorated. So I thought that it'd be nice to, I don't know, include some of these things. So I have a little R here. Some stars. And then this one is like sort of a letter tag. And this is on a glitter sort of acrylic. 
piece. It has the R and the little Fox and Pip bow. I hope you guys can see that well. That was for my latest Fox and Pip order. And then the one from the Lux collab. Oh, I'm so excited to show this off so I can finally use up these items. Just by looking at this, you guys already know that all these things are going to be extremely cute. Tell me, tell me, don't feel the same way. Tell me. <laughs> okay, so I've got a bunch of things from the collab. So this is this was one of the little post-it notes and this I believe just came in one color which is super cute it's kind of like the gray this would be perfect for making like grocery lists or just anything like that so I got that I got some of her stickers the first one I definitely wanted to get was one of these this was the the Disney Plus Fox and Pip version sticker I really like this I've actually have been watching Disney Plus quite a lot so I thought I would need these to mark in my planner and then Lux stickers I ended up getting these which is half the little Fox and Pip planner and some pens just thought it would be cute to decorate my planner then I have some more and this one just has more things like a coffee cup some slippers some flowers some PJ pants all very Louis Vuitton inspired and then I went ahead and got these boxes which have the Louis Vuitton inspired little fox and pit bows. Tell me those are not cute. I ended up getting two of these post-it notes. It's so stinking cute. I usually use post-it notes a lot. But I ended up getting two. One to probably hoard and one to actually use. And then for the smaller things, I got a couple of vinyl stickers. Oh, I think these are so cute. Tell me these are not going to be so cute in my setup. Okay, this is a little postcard which I could honestly use as a little deco piece as well. We have that. This is the freebie. I actually got two of them. I don't know why, but I'm not going to complain there. And I got a couple of vinyl stickers. This just says Planner Girl on a little Disneyland Starbucks cup. And just a couple of just the Louis Vuitton inspired bows, which tell me these are not the cutest things ever. I got just a variety of ones that I like the most. Just just to not get too too many i wanted to get as many as i would use honestly i could have probably got in the gray one too but i just really liked all of these so that is what i've got from fox and pip now to go along with that i think i'll go ahead and open my pigtails and pockets order i actually made this order i want to see last week and it got to me pretty soon i know that she lists ready to ship items i think that's the reason why it came to me so soon um and the reason being is because i saw a friend that i made from a planner group called planner friends i always talk about this planner group susie she was doing a flip of her setup and she had one of these cute little fox and pip bow clips from pigtails and pockets and i don't know if you guys know this but i absolutely love the color red and i thought i definitely needed this like this definitely screams me so i got one of these i actually have two of them in my personal planner but i don't know i just thought i would get the red one and then aside from that i also was able to snatch this up which was from the collab with the other shops the Louis, the Louis inspired collab and this is just a little clip that I will go ahead and put in my string in my ASIC planner which goes really well with my spine actually let me go ahead and bring it so I can show you this is my Pali studio planner I actually did an unboxing on this and like I mentioned I will be doing a setup if you guys would like to see that but this is how I would just put the little clip and it goes pretty well with the spine I want to say it's so stinking cute I love that so that is how I'm gonna keep it for now actually I'm not even gonna move it so that's what I got from pickles and pockets and now moving on to the next shop next I have an order from simply gilded I typically show you guys what I get in my sub box and last month was actually a really good sub box if you guys have not seen what it had it had a, bun a bunch of things because it was the sort of celebratory sub box for simply gilded for my black friday order this is actually super genius i'm gonna put this i think in my a6 yeah it fits pretty perfectly and i'm gonna go ahead and write my resolutions there let me go ahead and comment down below if you guys have any resolutions that um you're really proud of i actually have not really thought of this much even though i probably should i need to actually finish up with beginning of my goal setting planner for 2020 but that's another thing <laughs> so these were the little bow seals that came in my planner i can actually put one of these probably in a couple of my spreads and this was a little freebie which was just a bow seal and then for um the actual items that i purchased from simply gilded i ended up purchasing one of these pink and gold bow 
washies. I know this is not a new washi, but I don't know. I just thought I didn't have this, and it goes perfectly with most of the spreads, like I mentioned. Also, the Two Little Bee sticker kit that has the pink and the gold. It's just something that a lot of shops like to do, and I just thought that it would be nice to put in my little planner. So I got that. I also got one of these, which this was a new release. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's black with gold little bows, and you have little hearts in between them right there. I also got this, which this is such a beautiful bow. Washi. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it has kind of like that prismatic blue bow blue foiled bow so cute on white washi and then i also went ahead and got these which i probably won't use these too much but i am going to try to actually whip them out in my a6 right now these are perforated little seven millimeter washi tapes um, I've actually have purchased some of these in the past and then last but not least i got some of the five millimeter washi tapes because i thought this in particular went really well with this one just to use in my planners and I thought that I would definitely use the rest ones because they're just classic you know white and black with gold and silver bows so that is what I purchased from Sample Yelda next up I am going to go ahead and open my once more with love order I I want to say I purchased this in Black Friday too I believe so but or maybe I just purchased on one of her new releases let me go ahead and open this up for you guys before I open this, look at this journaling card. I love that. Creativity is contagious. Pass it on. Okay. So for these, I think this was the time that she released her food doodles. So let's go ahead and put this on the side. Okay, let's go ahead and start with the bigger sheet. The bigger sheet that I got this time was one of these holidays and celebration sheet. I just thought it would be really cute to put in my planner every time that it, there is a holiday. I don't typically do that, but I think in the new year, it would be a cute little thing to put every single month. So I got one of those. These are the little freebies that I got. So you have this one. This is really cute, actually. This looks like some sort of Friendsgiving. You have the little stitch one. This is me when I study. Tinkerbell and some karate ones. I could use that for my little brother's karate classes. And this was the Christmassy foiled freebies in collab with SBC. Then this is the little die cut that we got that says number one fan. Tell me that it's not the cutest little thing. <laughs> That's so funny. And then for the smaller sheets that I purchased, I purchased three of the food doodles. I went ahead and got a burger one a nuggets one because that's me when i go to chick-fil-a <laughs> and then i got a ramen one which could also i think work for like fars anything like that which is what i typically go out to eat with my friends then these were oh okay i think i remember what the sale was for and it was for her four-year anniversary i went ahead and got the four-year anniversary favorite sheet which i typically have done for every other anniversary um sheet so we got that then we have the little magical plus which is her disney plus version stickers these are so cute <laughs> then we have some podcast ones because i have been um actually really into listening to podcasts i went ahead and got these which are the law and order ones just because if you guys don't know i am in an interpretation program that's going to help me hopefully pass these interpreting state exam and what we do is obviously interpret cases court cases so i just thought it'd be nice to either label classes or tests quizzes or anything like that i just thought it'd be nice for some reason or even like internships so that is something that i got next i got another one of these sheets i think i was running low of this this is the two-year anniversary favorite sheet i got the one-year anniversary favorites did i get the third year I don't think so <laughs> and then last but not least i got these which are just couch cuddles which i thought were cute to mark i don't know whenever me and paul either watch a movie have some coffee or just couch cuddle sessions <laughs> so that is what i purchased from one summer with love and now last but not least i have some orders from rose color days she came out with a couple of new things she came out with some luxe pockets which actually are in collaboration with Annie Plants Printables. So you're going to be seeing that, that Louis Vuitton inspired print once more, which I'm sure you guys are not mad at. I definitely am not myself. I wanted to go ahead and get this, which I'm going to probably end up trimming. 
these are her store sign journaling cards and they come in sets of threes if you guys don't know i am a pisces so that is the reason why i picked this one up but it comes in a set so you have the hollow with gold and i really like this it has from what date to what date um pisces is as well as just a couple of words so we have compassionate gentle and intuitive which these are actually all of me <laughs> that's funny then we have the silver and hollow i really like how these shops are combining two foils in one and then we have the rose gold and hollow i don't know i just thought it would be cute to implement that a little bit into my planner because i want to say i'm very into my sign that's all i'm gonna say but yeah that is the first thing that i got from rose colored days and then in that same order this was actually the freebie for december which i won't be using anymore but but i really like how she does that she likes to um add some of these um, little journaling cards in your order this was also another freebie which just has a purple box overlays and then this is another set that I purchased this is the transparent monthly journaling cards and I got quarter one which is of course January February and March I decided to get this in holographic just because my whole planner spread is going to be this holo theme of course with my um, little charm here and even the spine so I thought this would be perfect to put in there I also went ahead and got these these are the foiled calendar die cut sets and I also got these in hollow I really want to see how I'm going to incorporate this in my planner but I just thought it was extremely cute I have January February March April all the months in here and once again I got I got these in hollow as well I just thought they were really cute and then for my second, which is this is actually the last thing I'll be showing you guys for this haul, is going to be her newest release, which I actually just got in the mail earlier this week. And it has her Lux pockets. Oh, I'm so super excited about this, actually. First, I got some of her overlays. These are actually not like header overlays or anything. These are date dot tape overlays so you have basically date dot squares and i ended up getting rose gold and gold and now that i think about it i wish i would have gotten either like the silver and hollow as well just because i use these so so much and it's just really nice to have um different color foils to go with your kits so i ended up picking some of these this was the freebie which i actually have another up now super exciting this was also the freebie which has that pink sort of hollow shatter that's cute and then these are the pockets that i ended up getting she was selling these in sets of threes so you have the smaller one the bigger one and the sort of secretarial pocket i think that's what they're called um so i ended up getting three of them i didn't get the black one just because these are probably the ones that i liked the most out of all of them so i'm going to go ahead and open one for you guys just so you guys can see how they look so this is the sort of gray one which has rose gold foil so this is one of the pockets second one and the third one i really like these and i definitely will be using them in my planners oh they're just so cute i also got the brown one which has the gold foil and then of course the pink one which has the hollow foil so stinking cute and now last but not least to finish this up i'm going to be opening up my first ever sparkly paper co happy mail this was my first time purchasing anything from her shop specifically because of the Lux collab and i'm super excited because all of these things are going to help me finish with setting up my a6 rings i ended up getting a couple of vellums as well as acetate i think that's what they were i'm really bad at all this like setup terminology this is a little journaling card it says petty patty <laughs> that's so funny okay so we have that um i got a little freebie this is a little freebie that comes in there i actually was looking into getting these little like buttons that's what i got then i got this vinyl sticker which this is so cute it just says extra and she's wearing her louis inspired box and pit robe with a little mug that says extra i ended up getting two of these which these are the star boxes 
in two of the colors. So I have the brown one with the rose gold and the pink one with the gold. And then last but not least, I got two of these Lux Collab. These are the colored ones and these are vellums. I got these two vellums which just have the same print. So cute. This, tell me this is not the cutest thing. Of course, this goes along with a little post-it and so on and so forth. So you guys see how all of these shops have collabed. And then last but not least, I got three of these. These are acetates and I ended up getting the Pixie Hollow, which tell me this is not so stinking beautiful. I got three just to be all good for my setup. So I will be using these for my Louis Vuitton inspired A6 ring setup. So with that being said, that is pretty much all that I have for this video. I sure do hope that you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed already. Once again, if you guys would like to see that A6 setup video, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. And hopefully I will get to see you guys on my next video. Bye guys.